Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and when I did my original review of the Jumper T18 radio I said that my biggest problem with this radio is the roller because the roller just sucks. Super imprecise, super loose on the ratchet and when you try to change any value with the roller inside the OpenTX it skips, not it changes not by one but sometimes by one, sometimes by two. Extremely hard to use and actually kills, almost kills the pleasure of using uh, this radio. But there is a new piece of information that the new firmware without any description published on the jumperrc.com webpage fixes the problem with the roller. If this is true, then the radio just got better. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna check if actually this is correct. If after flashing the jumper t18 with the new firmware the roller is working like it's supposed to be working and also the information i got that it also fixes the hissing speaker let's try this thing if you don't know yet what are the two major problems with the jumper t18 radio that either you do not have the jumper or you don't care if you watch at least one review of this radio then you should know that a when you turn this thing on the speaker makes horrible sound that just ah, want, want you to like run away and when you try to use the roller the roller is extremely imprecise just look at the numbers how they are switching you see from time to time they are just switching not by one but by two and using the roller is extremely extremely not pleasant experience However, there is a chance that the jumper fixed the problem with the new firmware that they released some time ago. So what we're gonna do today is we will update the firmware on the jumper and see if that's true. The process of flashing jumper T18 is basically exactly the same like the process of flashing jumper T16. I have a separate video on how to do it, so today we will just do a rapid version. I have installed, I have uploaded the new firmware to the SD card. Let me put the SD card inside. Let's close the battery compartment. Ah, okay. Trims center power button to open the bootloader, bootloader opened, write firmware, it found the firmware and let's flash this thing. It's flashing. As you see, really nothing super, super serious, super complicated. I only had to go to the jumperrc.com page, go to download section, download the firmware, install this copy paste this to the sd card to the firmware folder and writing complete return let's exit okay it's the bloody heart okay now you see what the problem okay okay the hissing speaker definitely was not fixed by the by the new firmware but let's let's try it again yeah, definitely hissing speaker was not fixed, but let's see if they were able to fix the roller. And yeah, jumper, you did it. Look, look what's happening. The roller finally works like should be working. You are able to switch positions by one, not by two. And with the half somewhere in the posi positions of the ratchet on the roller. So, almost. Really, 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 really jumper. Almost you did it. The new firmware indeed fixes the, uh, improves the roller. It's still pretty loose and imprecise. But this is a different story. The speaker is still hissing. The 2.4 gigahertz uh, antenna is still horizontally installed over here. But at least the roller is working. Good job!
So yes, the new firmware fixes the roller on the Jumper T18. It's finally, 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 finally working like it's supposed to be working and you can actually use the Jumper T18 on the day-by-day -day basis. Too bad, really too bad that such a basic problem was not fixed before the radio was shipped to the reviewers, right? If only someone checked this thing before. <sighs> the speaker is still hissing, but at least the roller is working. So thank you for watching until the next one. Bye bye.